Turns out guys that big Navi which we do think will be based off of the Navi 21 GPU won't be the only GPU based off of AMD's upcoming a brand new gaming optimized ordinate architecture. According to a recent screenshot made up of a well known leaker on Twitter it seems as if AMD is planning 4 GPUs in total for the entire uh, upcoming Radeon RX 6000 lineup and it turns out two of them are specifically targeting APU processors. These are also used for mobile laptops and these are the small ships that have a GPU unit that is integrated on the processor. Anyway, we have been told by AMD that Ordinate 2, which includes ray tracing by the way, will be introduced on AMD's entire GPU lineup, which this image also seemed to confirm. But this image is also revealing something completely new that we never heard about before and it actually seems like AMD's upcoming RX 6000 series of graphics cards will be based off of just two GPUs. GPUs, Navi 21 and Navi 23. And so in today's video, we're gonna look into this rather interesting leak. So buckle up, let's get into it. Quick question guys, do you think AMD stand a chance against Nvidia Ampere? Yes or no? Let me know down in the comments. So it's been a lot of buzz around Big Navi and with only a few months until it's supposed to be revealed, we're still sitting on tons of questions but still very few answers. Now speaking of release for AMD's upcoming RX 6000 lineup, based on everything that's been said or leaked, we do actually have a fairly good idea when Big Navi is being shown. According to a recently leaked launch schedule for Nvidia's upcoming GeForce branded and Pure GPUs. We know that the green team is preparing for a RTX 3000 launch event in September. We can be pretty confident that AMD doesn't want to give uh, Jensen too much attention at this event. And so based on that, I can tell you guys, I am pretty confident that we're gonna see Big Navi in September. We still, however, have a lot of questions to be answered before then and so if you're sitting there right now and you're excited for Big Navi and you're wondering how powerful it may be, you want to make sure to subscribe as I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. Big Navi or Sienna Cichlid is said to be AMD's new performance giant, said to take use of the massive Navi 21 GPU. And yeah, we have plenty of leaks indicating that nothing has changed here and so we have very strong beliefs that AMD is gonna use uh, the is 505 square millimeter GPU with 80 compute units and 5120 steam processors. They then gonna put a new designed dual fan cooler on it and possibly call it 6900 XT. Now this graphics card is gonna be a Halo product and while we don't know how powerful it will be, we can assume that it's likely gonna be a complete monster. Now thanks to Rogue Game, our new friend on Twitter, we now have even more details around AMD's upcoming GPU live lineup and apart from Navi 21, we're looking at three additional GPUs which are set to replace today's RX 5000 series graphics cards from top to bottom. Rogue Game has been able to find some IDs that he's then been able to match with each individual GPU and this gives us a very good idea which GPU AMD is planning on using for each upcoming RX Radeon graphics card. Now if this doesn't make any sense, just keep watching, it will make sense in just a second. So let's start with the smallest GPU first and work our way up. First up we got what seems to be two so-called APUs or CPUs with integrated graphics named Van Gogh and Van Gogh Lite. Now these are set to take part in the 5th gen Ryzen APUs where the latter one is taking part in AMD's APU family called CSAN set release in 2021. Next up we got Navi 23 with a die size of 240 square millimeter and this is set to be the smallest standalone GPU. This one is set to take part in the RX 65000 series cards. And so in other words, this will be the GPU that AMD is gonna use in their mid-range uh, graphics cards. Now to make things a little bit more interesting, I decided to throw in the Navi 10 GPU used in the 5700 XT. That way we get a better idea how these numbers compare against AMD's current best performing RDNA graphics card. But keep in mind guys, as we are looking at a completely new architecture, comparing 
numbers like this side by side isn't going to help us calculate the performance, but I still think it's interesting to include at least. Next up we got Navi22 and according to this leak, this GPU could be dedicated for Apple only, possibly replacing the current Radeon Pro 5600M. And on top of the hill, yes, we find Navi21. Now whether Navi22 will become a specialized GPU with HBM2 memory for the mobile market, obviously remains to be seen, but if it's true, it means that the Invis next generation graphics cards will consist of only two new dedicated GPUs. And that being said guys, Navi21 and Navi23 will most likely be launched in several uh, variants or SQs with varying numbers of compute units. Based on the recent leaks guys, I don't think AMD has went through the so-called design and validation plan yet. And so right now there is simply no way to know how each graphics cards in the upcoming RX 6000 series will look in terms of specifications. As a side note, we have also seen a couple of leaks suggesting that AMD could be refreshing the Navi 10, which may indicate that AMD is planning to have a few GPUs that will lack ray tracing. These GPUs will possibly target the entry class. As release date, again AMD is said to introduce the next gen Radeon and Big Navi this fall, most likely in September. Once again guys, do you think AMD stands a chance versus Nvidia's upcoming Ampere? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.